Diplomatic tensions rise amid controversy over alleged weapons export, calls for U.S. ambassadors' expulsion from South Africa. In an escalating diplomatic standoff, there is mounting pressure within the South African government to expel the U.S. ambassador, Ruben Breijti, from the country. Good day, I'm Ken Helen and welcome to the Nganiyama News Channel. This comes in the wake of allegations made by Brijti that weapons and ammunition were loaded onto a Russian cargo vessel, Lady R, docked in Simons Town, Cape Town, between December 6 and 9, 2022. These explosive claims sent shockwaves through the markets and strained South Africa's relations with the United States. Despite these allegations, the South African government maintains that its own trade data shows no weapons have been exported to Russia since at least 2018. An independent panel, chaired by a retired judge, has concluded an investigation into the matter and preliminary reports indicate that no weapons were loaded onto the ship. However, these findings have not been publicly disclosed. The controversy surrounding the Lady R incident is further complicated by the broader context of South Africa's ties with Russia. Joint naval exercises involving Russia and China in South African waters, coinciding with the anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, have heightened tensions with the U.S. The U.S. African Growth and Opportunity Act AGOA, which provides preferential access to U.S. markets for qualifying African countries, is at stake due to concerns over South Africa's relations with Moscow. While the situation puts Pretoria in a delicate position, the optics of expelling Ambassador Brijdi are also a matter of consideration. Notably, he is African-American, and the ruling African National Congress ANC is concerned about how his expulsion might be perceived. The ANC remains divided on taking action against Brijdi, with some opposing the move. The controversy has had far-reaching economic implications, as AGOA accounts for approximately 2% of South Africa's total exports, mainly consisting of vehicles. However, it also symbolizes a special trade relationship that the South African government values. Moreover, South Africa plays a critical role in the global supply of rhodium and palladium used in emissions capping catalysts for automobiles. Despite the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations permitting the host country to declare a diplomat persona non grata without explanation, the potential consequences for diplomatic relations with the U.S. are a significant factor in the decision-making process. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's spokesperson, Vincent Maguena, announced that the investigation into the Lady R incident has concluded, and the report will be presented to the president for his consideration. In response to calls for Brijdi's expulsion, International Relations and Cooperation Minister Naledi Pandor indicated that further actions would be determined once the investigation's report is reviewed by the government. The president's decision on potential actions will be guided by the report's findings, and its public disclosure remains uncertain. The unfolding diplomatic drama is being closely monitored by global markets, with the South African RAND experiencing fluctuations based on the country's diplomatic moves. With implications for trade relations and economic stability, South Africa's handling of this situation remains critical in maintaining its standing in international circles. As the nation awaits President Ramaphosa's response to the investigation's findings, uncertainty surrounds the future course of action and its repercussions on both diplomatic and economic fronts. That's all for now on the Nganiyama News Channel. What are your thoughts on the U.S.'s ambassador to South Africa's false accusations on Pretoria supplying weapons to Moscow? And the chances of Pretoria asking Washington to have him removed as ambassador to SA? Let us know in the comments below. As always, do like the video, subscribe to the Nganiyama News Channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on this developing story and more news from the African diaspora and across the globe.